both poles. Hold one. One, two, three. Left leg. Hold. When you are facing some problem, then you are the one who can find out the solution itself. Because if there is a problem, then you must be involved in it. In this video, I will tell you something regarding lumbar spondylitis, which is very, very big concern nowadays. Not only for the aged people, but also the teenage suffering from lumbar spondylitis. Before moving forward with lumbar spondylitis, what all asana, what all pranayama, what all things you need to do. First, let's learn something about our spinal cord. Our spinal cord is a pillar, the main part of our body. There are two parts, which is cervical and the lumbar. Cervical means starting point of your spinal cord, this area. And the lumbar is the end part of your spinal cord, which is the lower back. In this video, we will talk regarding lumbar region area. Lumbar spondylitis is a condition caused by degeneration of the lumbar discs, a rubbery discs between the spinal bones. L1, you can see this picture, L1 to L5 is the lumbar spine. In between this vertebrae, there are five discs, which is called the lumbar discs. If you are suffering from lumbar spondylitis, then the problem is in your lumbar discs. Remember one thing, this area, lumbar region is very, very sophisticated. So you need to do the exercise, you need to do the asana in a very moderate way. Do not give any strain to your lumbar region. That can be increase your pain. So all the posture that you do, what I am going to show you, you need to practice it in a very slow motion. The first thing, do not bend forward. If you are suffering from lumbar spondylitis, do not back too much, right? And the asana, what all asana you need to do? There are lots of asana, like you, you need to twist your body slowly, left to right, then right to left. Sitting on a chair you can do and hold the posture 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, come back, right? Hold the posture 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, come back, right? Spinal twist postures you need to practice but in this video i am gonna show you three to four asana which you need to practice in a very very moderate way the first is mosasana fist pose lay down on mat with the support of your elbow hmm. open your chest your feet should be outstretched completely. Hold in this one. Four, three, two, one. Extend your both hands beside your torso. As you all know, cats are having the most flexible spine. So you need to do cat stretching pose in a very slow rhythm. Cat stretching pose. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now, put your cheek down to the mat. Exhale. If you are not flexible enough, then you have to use your block. Inhale, exhale and put your cheek on mat. Uh, yoga block. Stay in this position. This will give immense stretch to your lower back. Right. Stay for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up. Again, inhale, exhale. Put your cheek down. Okay. Cobra. Inhale.
exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Half cobra, you need to do half cobra, right? And put your both legs on yoga block. And stay. Down. Up. Up cobra. Now tap your both legs on block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, go to Balasana. Good. Come down pose for your body as well as your lumbar region. Sit in Vajrasana. Inhale deeply and raise your both hands. As you exhale, put your forehead on yoga block. Stay as long as you are comfortable. This will also give immense support to your lumbar, lumbar region area. Inhale. Up. Lay down on mat. Put your both legs on mat, on yoga block. And stay at least 3 to 4 minutes in this posture. Breathe normal. Right. This you need to practice. All these things you need to do. And do not stand to your lower back. It can harm you. So use this yoga block. You will feel better. So I hope that you have understood what I mean to say. And thank you so much for giving your valuable time. My name is Sami. Yogi Sami. Signing up for the day. Take care. Bye bye. Lord Shiva bless you all. See you in next video. Tab tak ke liye. Please take care. Namaste. Left hand. Vice versa. Left leg and. Lucy. Lucy, come, come.